Lizzy Bird, welcome back to Mario Golf Super Rush. Today, we are heading back into some speed golfing action. Along with it, we are going to be taking a look at another new character, as per usual. This time will be Pauline, last episode was Rosalina. This time we have Pauline, who's a little bit less on the power, actually a good chunk less. Seems like she's more medium power. Actually, maybe just totally on the low end, yeah. Only person I'm seeing with a lower power is Peach. So yeah, Pauline has low power, Blastoise Balls in his path is her special, but she does have a very fair amount of control and seems to be pretty fast as well. A little low on stamina, a little bit low on spin. Actually, no, actually a little bit high on spin. So yeah, overall pretty good looking character. Let's try her out. I do really like her golfing outfit, especially the cap is pretty cool. Yeah, with that, let's head in. I wanted to try something maybe earlier. Like I said, maybe even the rookie course. What I'm curious about is if we do maybe like nine holes, but what if we made it super extreme and did the strongest possible win or something crazy like that? I wonder what that's gonna be like. How strong are the strongest wins? We're gonna find out. It's gonna be a windy adventure. Okay, 16 mile per hour wins coming in to start things off. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, so we're against Waluigi, Wario, and Mario. Okay, I don't think I needed to shade that shot at all. So she just has a full sprint, but then she jumps up and does a little, a little stylish move, I like it. So the wind really made it not go as far as I wanted it to there. It's actually quite far off the mark. Might as well have landed it in this green instead. Guess I'll just run along the path for now. Huh, that is actually really tough. Makes me think, how do I want to do this? What if I did do something like this and then just basically tried to do it a 180? That was not a good idea. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was fine. But look at how much the ball travels though. Crazy, crazy. Especially when it lands, there's some good travel. Everyone's gonna struggle with this though for sure. There we go. Oh, it's just not getting in from here. So I ended up getting a bogey. Wario somehow got a birdie in this one. He's already doing really well. But this is definitely a fun way to mix it up a little bit. All right, hold to 30 mile per hour tailwind with this one. Now that being said, I could hit this one, the area to the, to the left. Ready? Over here. That actually might be a better idea. I'm gonna go for it. That's sort of the fun area about, the fun thing about Bonnie Greens is it's so much green. I mean, I mean this is a, the rookie course, isn't it? There's just so much green. So there's a lot of landing spots. It makes it really fun. A little bit of a different one. Definitely a lot more leisurely. Okay. Just gonna run over as soon as I can. My problem is they're really, isn't many hearts on the main part of the course like this, of course. Okay, so this is where I could use the super if I really needed it. With that 13 mile per hour wind, I think about there is acceptable. I probably didn't need to hit it as close. But honestly, yeah, not too bad. Okay, ready. Nice, on. And we're going straight in. Boom. Got it, that was almost not in. A little scary, but we got it to work. And that is gonna be good for time, good for par. Overall, I think that was a good strategy. Okay, we're gonna beat them all out. Pretty cool. So, let's keep it moving. All right, hole three now. I think I chose nine holes. So this one has some hole-in-one potential, but with how much wind there is, it's gonna be quite difficult. I don't know if the Surbax one's gonna be enough. We'll see, where exactly does that land? Cause it's moving all right, but maybe not as much as I was expecting. I mean, it's a nice song, that's always good. I think because it slants at the beginning here and then it slants back, this should be okay. And I was right, nice. nice. All right, so there's a birdie for us, which is a better par than everybody else. So that should mean that we'll get a better time as well. 
because we weren't 30 seconds behind. Yep. Okay, really looking good for us so far. I want to keep this up as we enter hole four. Haven't used my special yet. Once again, makes me wonder if I should just be knocking it this way. It really might be better. Especially since Wario's gonna use his special. I'm gonna make that storm cloud happen. Maybe push us a little to the left. Dude, there's no coins on this course. Except for the coins that get knocked out of other players. Or hearts or anything. At least from what I can see. That's actually, we're in the rough. But in a spot that I'm not gonna complain about. Because I could do this. Land it right there. Whoa! That's so cool! I love that. So she sings Jump Up Superstar, and then she pulls out her microphone and uses it as a golf club. That's awesome. And the music kept playing there. I like that. Okay, gotta be really careful. Will that be enough to get it in? Not quite from there. Oh, Wario just barely missed his. But there we go, we do get it in before them, and we got Parcel. That was cool. I think I like Pauline Special more than everybody else's so far, just because she is a jump up superstar. Feels like a whole event. Pauline is definitely a fun character to have as a more common mainstay in the Mario cast. Because before Mario Odyssey, we just didn't see Pauline in very many Mario games. It was the very original Donkey Kong, and then he should show up in the Mario vs. Donkey Kong little side series. But beyond that, we just wouldn't really see Pauline. So to see her actually take an active role now in the side games like Mario Tennis Aces and uh, Mario Golf Super Rush and hopefully the new Mario Party that's coming out later this year. Who knows? That'd be really cool. If she can make a Mario Kart appearance, then I'll be really happy. But it's really cool just to see Pauline included in the cast like that. So, just gonna run over real fast. I think that'll be good. I don't know if we're gonna get it in, but. They definitely not with my backspin, but pretty close. And we can hit it straight from here. We're fine. We got it. Okay, so at this point, we have a really good time lead on most of them. It looks like I didn't on Wario, but that's because he hasn't gotten his in yet. There he goes at 15.06. So yeah, we're looking really good right now. A two minute lead on everybody. Let's keep it moving. Ready? Well, this one's interesting. I think this is once again, one where I could hit it this way. Should just be able to. The problem is sort of the tree. But I don't think, I think we'll be able to hit it over the tree, right? Maybe? There is some wind, so I might be able to, you know, try to clear the tree a little bit from this way. Waluigi's going for a super shot there. Something like that, I think would be good. They all mostly had the same idea. Wow, that is a crazy jump. Oh, I almost knocked up Mario there. But that's gonna land more or less exactly where I wanted it, so that's great. They all had the same idea, so it wasn't really the most ingenious thing, but you know, something. I don't know if I needed three arrows of spin there. That was actually maybe a big mistake. It could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. We're not gonna complain about it, we're just gonna go in. Could I get a chip in? <laughs> Probably not, but, oh! Oh, so close to it though. Oh my goodness. Yeah, definitely excellent. Let's tap that in. And that's gonna be a birdie for me. Wario got a double birdie though. So, unfortunately not gonna beat him this time. That's fine though. Since we had that time lead, it's really not too much of a worry. Okay, so yeah, with that done, going in the hole seven. So, including this one, there are three holes remaining. This one's giving me so much room just to go this way. I could go here. Actually, yeah, I will go this way. Because I think with how it's gonna end up curving, this is gonna be better. Especially if everybody is going the opposite direction. It gives me a little bit of room to work with, I think. Okay, definitely gonna clear that bunker, no problem. I think we ended up getting in the rough there. Oh, that's not so good. 
and all this open space highlighted right in the rough and in front of a tree, I maybe have made a big mistake. So typically not what I like to do, but considering this circumstance, I'm gonna give it a small hit over this way, just so that we can line up better. I think overall that you're really gonna see me a headache here. It's knocking it over this way with the backspin. We're still a bit behind them at the moment, but now we can hit straight in, and I might be able to beat some of them out. Boom, so I am gonna get a better time. And we got par, so actually turned out quite well. That correction shot I did, I thought it was gonna cost me more than it ended up costing me, so that's really great. So Wario, who was the one who beat me out last hole, is gonna struggle in this one, so it really balances out for me. And that means that we have two more left, so let's go for it. This one's a little bit of a challenge, but I think we can handle it. It's more of a headwind than anything. So I think a standard spin right about there. Going again, oh, I'm knocking both of them out. Look at how close we were. Very nice on. Oh my goodness, Wario! <laughs> that was a crazy one! He almost got it in there too. That would have been even crazier. All right, well, because he didn't, we were able to get the birdie. He got par. This is looking great for us. So. Let's see how things are going now. It's a really stormy final hole with the 16 mile per hour wind. Looking a little scary. I think just about here I wanna hit it and then full power, full spin, just pull out all the stops. And I could try to go over this way but that's gonna you know, require an out of amount of control I don't know if I can really pull off. So I think here is acceptable. They're all running pretty far ahead of me, but since Pauline has so much speed, I can catch up pretty fast. It should be fine. Oh, I actually landed on Mario there. Pretty good move. So this is where I can use my super to finish things out. Right there. I don't know if I should've done, wait, I forgot to press the super button. Whoops, okay. Uh, that was a mistake. I mean, overall, it actually worked out pretty well. I can't use my super now though, unfortunately, because. Oh my. Because we're in the putting. Can't be used while putting. This is a little bit scary, but I think that right about here, I wanna get this eagle. Can I get it in? Can I get it in? Ah, oh, not quite. So close, so close. We get a birdie though. It's not too bad. We're in a match, everybody, except for Wario, who ended up getting a, a bogey. Actually, no, he got par. All right, well, that's definitely gonna be a win for us here against the computers, which is always nice to see, but we're not quite done. We're gonna be going into ranked now to see if we can't reach a rank. Yeah, there we go, first place finish with Pauline here. Definitely like Pauline's running ability, and her special seems to be you know, fine. It has a lot of pizzazz to it, just like the rest of her, so that's always fun. So yeah, let's go online now and see how we do there. All right, we're back to an online ranked scenario. This time against two Rosalinas and Bowser Jr. And we're on Dong City. This one makes me a little bit scared. Never quite know how to hit this. Well, please just don't bounce off the... <laughs> I don't understand how everybody else can do it so easily. But luckily it bounces off the fence. Thank goodness, that was so scary. Okay, so with this one, I don't know how I feel about this, but we're gonna try it. Oh, okay. Off the flagpole isn't too bad. Yes. Remember, this is not speed golf, this is normal golf, so getting par is fine for now. Keeps us close to everybody. Yep, so let's say three of us got par and then Bowser Jr. actually got a birdie. That was not too far off, so let's just keep it going. Hmm. 
Now this one, 11 mile per hour winds. This can be a really tricky hole. And I might just wait for everybody else. And then go for something a little crazy. Pauline's gonna do her song. What in the world? Why? Wait, why did, no! I had this big plan and it went so wrong. That's not fair. I guess the trajectory is different than what it says it's gonna be. Okay, I just want, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, see so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in putting mode, if I can. And we're gonna put it into this bouncer. It's gonna launch it up, and that's how you fix your situation there. Please don't roll off this out of the bed. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> What's going on here? This is probably the my least favorite roll. And this is everybody's least favorite roll on this course, because it's so weird. Unless you do it the one specific way every time. All right, well, can I at least beat Bowser Jr. here? I guess the wait and see. It looks like we're gonna tie. Which Bowser Jr. was the only one to uh, do super well the last time. And I used my special there too. That is so frustrating that, I don't know. It doesn't always do what it says it's gonna do. Okay, so I learned my lesson from this one the last time. You gotta go really light on it. Maybe not the best idea now that I'm looking at it because guess who's also gonna use her special? Because even that, even that was way too much. But just that the meter sort of lies to you about how that works. Oh my, mine's gonna fall off the building. Yep, see ya. Oh no, another one. Ah ha ha ha. This is not fair. Okay, well, I think this is just not around so far. I've made a major mistake. <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that, because now it's just gonna fall off the building again. <laughs> oh no. Okay, stroke three, for real now. We got it. <laughs> oh, we got this one. Easy, I can't even see the, the flagpole anymore. Because that's what Bowser Jr. thing does, the smoke. Oh my goodness. It's off the side again. I think about there, oh my, I didn't realize, that's so weird. It told me, I thought I was putting there. Well then this should be acceptable. It's sort of, oh my goodness. Every possible thing is going so badly. Oh man. There we go, that's it. Because of the wind, I didn't factor in. Tap it in. Yikes. Seven strokes for that. Aww. I just, every possible thing that could have gone wrong went wrong in that one. And that's okay, that happens. Cause that just means we're gonna bounce back and do better next time. Right. Rona gets an A plus rank there. So, I mean, this was some tough competition for sure. They tied for first, the, the double Rosalina combo. It's, it's brutal. You can't beat the double Rosalina. I mean, we played as Rosalina yesterday. It's a very good character. Okay then, so, we're gonna keep moving. Hopefully this time, we can get a win. Or at least, you know, something a little bit better. But hey, no matter what, it's still points that we can add to our progress so that we can get that A rank and unlock this month's reward. All right, so we're back in Udong City against a Blue Yoshi, Daisy, and Toad. With seven mile per hour wins, I think it'd be good about to do about there. With the Super Backspin, we'll see how it goes. The wind's actually gonna be a bit stronger than anticipated, but oh wow, that that's a little weird. I guess it's a bit of a downhill section there. Yeah, I can see it a bit better now. That's okay. I don't know if the super backspin was necessary. Ooh, oh, so close, so close. That would've been great. Yoshi cut a hole in one. So once again, we're against some real tough competition here. But we're just gonna keep going and see where it ends up landing us. Hole 10, two mile per hour wins. So not as much to worry about here. This can still be a bit of a scary one. If 
they might end up trying their specials here. We'll find out. Oh, come on. Did I get it? I got the hole in one. <laughs> nice. All right. That feels good. Everybody else actually missed their hole in one opportunity. So that puts me in a good spot. I mean, I think. The only problem is that I didn't do so well the last time. So we're still tied for second, which means if I just play this one slow and safe, what we're gonna do is wait for everybody else to go. And we're gonna have a bit of a standoff. Cause Toad is going for his. And these guys, I wonder if they can notice me spinning. <laughs> They're spinning around a place. Okay, there goes Daisy. And Daisy's gonna try to knock Toad out of the way. And then there goes Yoshi. Okay, so I won the waiting game. And it didn't really go very well. I'm very confused. Uh, that was weird. Oh, that chip in. I really needed a good chip in there. That was weird. What happened to my special? Why did it? I have no clue. Either way, didn't work out for me. I think that means I get last place here. A bit of a shame, but you know I tried. We're going against some really tough players now here in the B ranks. Really tough to see that, but we're just gonna keep moving forward. Blue Yoshi wins this one. Good job. I guess maybe it's more purple. Hard to tell in the lighting. But, either way, we got a hole in one in this one. I can't be too upset. That's still a pretty cool thing to do. And, we get 15 points. That's gonna be enough for us to get A minus, which is all I was really looking for. That should unlock us the, uh, what is it called? The, the Boo costume. A minus or higher achieved in ranked match. You can now choose Boo wearing a visor when selecting a character. So that's pretty cool. We've got now the colored Yoshis and the Boo visor. Very cool. So there's still technically 22 days remaining to get that. Uh, to celebrate, we're gonna go one more online match and see how this one goes. All right, let's go for it. We're now against Boo who has the visor. This is an A rank player. Oh boy. I do have nine mile power wind, so I'm a little bit scared that I didn't really do the best with this. Mm, yeah, I mean, it could have been worse, could have been worse. Oh, it's gonna roll off. Okay, oh yeah, we have Blue Yoshi again. This is a different Blue Yoshi player. Let's try that. Ooh, oh, that was a good one. Nice birdie. All right then, so we're gonna keep up with uh, Boo and Bowser Jr. here, both sporting a visor, looking good but, oh, Yoshi hitting a little too strong there. Don't think that's what they were looking for. Okay, so, after Yoshi gets it in, I think we're, you know, in a decent standing, starting out a three-way tie for first. Hopefully we can keep up with the competition a bit this time, though. That's what would keep me happy. Oh, poor Yoshi. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna keep moving. Ready? This time, with the seven mile power wind, somebody's already going in with their special. It's gonna be Yoshi. Interesting that Yoshi's sort of rushed in this one. Bowser Jr. is also gonna do his special. Which means only me and Boo will have it going into the final round. But Bowser Jr.'s is actually a complicated one because it has that fog. We can't quite tell where the flagpole is on the meter. But honestly, sometimes the meter's not even the most useful thing. I got a nice backspin there, it's a nice on, and I should just be able to hit it straight on. Yep, we got it still, we're fine. So we're gonna make good pacing here. As you can see, we're all still evened out for first place. Ready? Let's go for it then. So what we're worried about is Boo. 
And I'm sure he's waiting for it. I'm just gonna go for it for now. I'm a little bit worried because this does have a bit of a roll to it. Because as you can see, ah oh man, I've not mastered using Pauline. It's not the best super, in my opinion. I've never been a huge fan of this super type. Oh wow, um, so give me the chance to hit straight in. I guess it really only affects Hunting. Let's try that out. Can I get this in? Did I just get that in? That was a beautiful shot, which is gonna once again tie us all. The competition is so tough there. But would you look at that? That means that we are tied for first. It was poor Blue Yoshi getting fourth technically and us getting three-way tie for first. Isn't that something? All right, well, as you can see, really happy about that one. Let's see how many points we get for that. An A rank first place finish. Even if it was a three-way tie, that's still pretty good, right? Gonna give me 17 points. So we are, you know, good chunk on our way to just being normal A rank. That's always fun. But yeah, I think that's where we're gonna be wrapping it up for today's episode. That was a ton of fun playing as Pauline. Definitely a fun character. Even though that super isn't the best in my opinion, it's still not too bad. Um, with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Golf Super Rush. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.